And back on the track, the men's 5,000 meters. I and just a little bit less than four laps to go. The, everybody's still clustered up there. They're past the two mile mark in about nine minutes and two seconds. Very rhythmic, steady pace for the first eight laps of the race. And things have not really broken open. Up in the lead pack, Elliot Heath from Stanford, who was second in the pack 10 meet, second to his teammate, Chris Derrick. Uh, both ran 1343, 1345 for 5,000 meters in that race. And David McNeil's there, lurking right behind them. Sam Chalanga, the 10,000 meter national collegiate record holder and winner here at the NCAAs of that event several days ago. No one seems to want to break this open. Somebody's going to have to make a move here. It's going to be a very fast, probably last 800 meters. Chalanga moving into place right now. First time he's been up close to the lead. He's always been four or five steps back in fifth and sixth and seventh place. 71 seconds for that last lap. So again, it hasn't really picked up. If anything, it was slow there, slower than the previous few laps. Sam Chalanga trying to do what Galen Rupp did a year ago, winning both the 5,000 and the 10,000. Ian, this is dangerous for Chalanga. He's, he doesn't have a great kick. He's got a good kick. The man who's got more speed, at least in past races, has exhibited it is David McNeil, the Australian at Northern Arizona. He's on the inside with the lead right now. He outkicked Chalanga at the indoor uh, 5,000 meter race at the NCAA title by about four steps in 13 minutes and 36 seconds. Now, here comes, I think, a guy they got to be concerned with, Chris Derrick. Got good speed from Stanford. Derrick has kind of said, okay, we're going to have a long, hard last several laps. Looked like Michael Mogg had lost his footing a bit on that far turn. Two to go. Two laps remaining in the men's 5,000 meters. Sam Chalanga from Liberty. Definitely, this is a hard drive. Watching the, the arm carriage, the stride, the power, and the backstretch of Derek. Chalanga just comfortably sitting in in second place. In fourth place on the inside is McNeil. David McNeil, best time this year collegiately, 13.25.63. And it is Chris Derrick from Stanford, the Pac-10 champion, leading the way. To McNeil, Ian, that was fast enough that time to qualify him to represent Australia at the Commonwealth Games held later this year in India. Derrick, Chalanga, McNeil also in the mix. I am surprised Chalanga did not take it out and burn these guys. Nobody can run 10,000 meters or has that strength that he does, but he may not have the speed they do. Final lap, the 5,000 meters. 61 seconds for that last lap with one to go. There goes McNeil in full flight. Here comes Sam, probably saying to himself, I'm going to outkick you, but can he do it? 300 meters to go. He's two steps down, is Chalanga. David McNeil from Northern Arizona. He's got the lead on Chalanga. Chalanga making up some ground, though. 200 to go. McNeil, the Big Sky champion. The 2010 indoor champion. Can he do it outdoors as well? Right now, David McNeil, it's his race. David McNeil, the final kick. McNeil wins it, the men's 5,000 meter national champion. And about a 56 second last lap for David McNeil. The last 800 meters run in about one minute and 56 or so seconds, 57 seconds. Sam Chalanga finishes second. Andrew Bumbalo from Georgetown takes third. I, and the decision was made by Chalanga early on, the way he ran the races. I feel I've improved my sprint speed. I've got the ability to now kick with everybody. I know I got out kicked by four steps indoors by McNeil, but I'm going to stay with him. I'm going to bet all my chips on the last lap. And he still winds up here, unfortunately, coming up a little short to McNeil by about two or three steps at the finish line. It often comes down at high level competition to your sprint speed. McNeil, who went a year and a half to college in Australia in Melbourne, 
received an invitation to go to Northern Arizona, took it up, and he trained with the great Lopez Lamont that made the Olympic team and carried the, uh, the Olympic flag for the United States and said he was a big influence on me. I'm so glad I've come to this country to train. Same finish, indoors and outdoors, downstairs to Dan. All right, fellas, thrilling race. It looked like it was anybody's race with three laps to go. Sam, you looked like you were content to just go out on an easy pace. Did you think wow. you could outkick these guys at the end? Well, I just thought I should give it a shot, but I wasn't sure because at the 10,000 meters on Thursday, I was just a little bit tired. All right, David, you're up there at Flagstaff. You know, you, not many people from your school came to repre, you know, represent the uh, Lumberjacks at the NCAA championships. You won indoors. You come away with the win here. You were in great position with about 600 meters to go. Tell us about how that race unfolded. Yeah, look, I just had to try and stay calm and stick to my, uh, what I usually do, and, which is, you know, try and be in a good position with a lap to go. And I did that today, and I got to 200 to go, and I thought, oh, dear. It isn't gonna, it isn't gonna work out. But uh, I just kept fighting, and I really wanted to win this race. So, yeah, hold on, and um, I'm re really grateful. All right, thanks for the thrilling race, guys. And one more look, the last 100 meters. Excellent performance by the man originally from Australia, David McNeil from Northern Arizona. He takes the 5,000 meter title. McNeil one, Chalanga two, Bumbalo from Georgetown three.